Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn that submersible perm starter in our home, how to do wiring of this. Wiring which we will do of starter is of MCB type. That is, in this starter, one MCB is there and one push button is there, through which we start the motor. We are going to learn wiring of this. First component inside this is MCB. This MCB also provides protection from overload. After this in starter, one starting capacitor and one running capacitor is connected. After this to start motor, one push button is connected. Now how much ampere current submersible pump is taking to watch this, one ammeter is connected. After this to check voltage, one voltmeter is also connected. After this to connect incoming power supply and outgoing power supply, one TB is there. This is our TB. Now in this starter, first of all, we will connect incoming power supply. Incoming power supply is of 230 volt, that is single phase. What we will do, bring single phase power supply and connect phase supply with first terminal of TB and connect neutral power supply with second terminal of TB. After this, what we will do, bring cable of this submersible pump and with third terminal, connect running wire of this cable. After this, connect starting wire with fourth terminal here and connect common wire of cable with last terminal. In this TB, at third terminal, wire of running winding is connected. At fourth terminal, wire of starting winding and at last terminal, common wire. Now after this, what we have to do, phase supply here, this terminal. From this terminal, connect one wire and to this MCB, provide incoming power supply. Now from output terminal of this MCB, provide power supply to voltmeter. So for this, connect a wire from here and connect this wire directly with one terminal of voltmeter. See one thing here, behind this voltmeter, you will get two terminals, one positive and one negative terminal. Take phase supply and connect with positive terminal. Now to this voltmeter, we have to provide neutral power supply also. For this, what we will do, from this neutral power supply here, connect one wire and connect this wire with negative terminal of this voltmeter. Now this voltmeter will start showing voltage. Now to this ammeter also, we have to provide positive power supply. That is, from this phase supply, connect one wire and with one terminal of this ammeter, connect this wire. Friends, in this ammeter, there are two terminals, S1 and S2. You have to connect incoming power supply or phase supply at S1 terminal. Now from outgoing terminal of ammeter, that is from S2 terminal, connect one wire and connect this wire with running winding. Here you have to connect at third terminal. Now what we have to do, we have to do connection of push button to start the starter. So from outgoing terminal of ammeter, wire which is going, loop a wire with this and provide incoming power supply to push button. Now if we press this push button, then power supply must go to this starting capacitor. It means to start motor, we have to give power supply to starting capacitor. For this, one push button is used here. So from outgoing terminal of this push button, connect one wire and connect this wire with this capacitor. You have to connect this wire with starting capacitor only. If you want to differentiate which one is starting capacitor and which one is running capacitor, then you just have to see what is the value of capacitor. Capacitor of higher value is your starting capacitor. Now the starting capacitor here from second terminal or take second wire and connect with one wire of running capacitor. That is, you have to connect starting capacitor and running capacitor in series. So I connected these two with each other. Now what we have to do? From this connection only, connect a wire and with starting wire of pump, connect this wire. That is, with fourth number terminal, connect this wire. What will happen is, when we press push button, then power supply will flow from here and goes to starting capacitor. Now this starting capacitor will give power supply in output from here and it will go directly to starting winding. Due to this, submersible pump will start. Now running capacitor is left. With second terminal or second wire of running capacitor, connect a wire and power supply which was going from ammeter to third terminal, connect wire with this. So connect a wire from here and connect this with third number terminal. To this submersible pump, we provided phase supply and starting power supply. Now we have to provide neutral power supply only. In this submersible pump, to this common wire, we have to provide neutral power supply. For this, what we will do? From here only, loop a wire and provide neutral power supply to this. If you want, from outgoing terminal of voltmeter also, you can provide neutral supply or by looping a wire from here, you can provide neutral power supply to this. So whole connection of submersible pump starter is completed. Let us understand once how this submersible pump starter works. 
See, if you want to turn on this submersible pump, then to turn on this, first of all you need to turn on this MCB. When you turn on this MCB, then power supply flows from here and goes to voltmeter. And from here, voltmeter will get neutral power supply. It means voltmeter will now start showing voltage. Now we looped a wire from here. You can see this wire is looped and connected to M meter. So power supply flows from here and goes to M meter. Now from outgoing terminal of M meter, we connected a wire and we connected this wire to running binding. One more thing you need to see here, this emitter is connected in series to running binding. So if current flows in this wire, then emitter will show this current. Right now on turning on MCB, motor will not start because to start motor, we have to provide power supply in starting winding. To provide power supply in starting winding, what we will do, press this push button for 2 seconds. Now from here, power supply flows to starting capacitor. Now from output terminal of starting capacitor, we connected a wire and connected this wire with starting winding. So on pressing this push button, power supply goes to starting winding. Now motor will start. And when RPM of motor reaches 75%, we have to release this push button. That is, we have to stop power supply going to starting capacitor. When we stop this power supply, then motor starts running through running capacitor. So friends, I hope you understood how we do wiring of submersible pump starter. Friends, if you have any kind of doubt or confusion, then you can ask me in the comment box. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.